this quick video, I want to talk about my favorite tool for creating high quality AI pins for Pinterest. It's called Ideogram AI and honestly, I've been using it for ages. I probably generated thousands of pins with this software already and honestly, I believe that this is one of the main reasons why all of my accounts on Pinterest are growing because the quality is simply good and that increases the CTR and better CTR leads to better reach. If you are already using Ideogram to create pins, you probably don't even need to watch this video but if you are just starting out if you are looking for the best software to create pins make sure to watch until the end because I'm gonna give you some cool prompts as well but of course before I start I want to quickly invite you to my private community called pin lions we have a lot of cool people inside and there are a lot of resources that you can use to grow on Pinterest faster a lot of tools workflows prompts templates Honestly, there are a lot of very useful resources. So if you want to surround yourself with people who are doing all of that stuff on a daily basis, join the community, you know what to do. Okay, one of the most common questions that I get inside of the community, especially from beginners, is that which ideogram plan you should choose? Because there are three plans, the basic plan for $8, the plus plan for $20, and the pro plan for $60 per month. And honestly, if you are just starting out, you don't need to worry about the pro plan, but the basic plan may not be enough for you. So for most people, I actually recommend the plus plan. I'm not affiliated with Ideogram. I don't really care about it. But honestly, this is the plan that I'm using on a daily basis. Sometimes if I run out of credits, I just have to get an, another account with the same plan. But overall, the plus plan is the best one in my opinion and for the record if you run out of credits you can still buy them but in my opinion out of my experience it makes more sense to actually get a second account because you just get more credits for the same price the way ideogram works is very simple you enter the prompt here you select the model here you select the number of images and when it comes to models there are a few that you can choose from most of the time i use 2.0 but 3.0 is also really good but 3.0 is a bit more expensive because for 2.0 you pay one credit for four images but when it comes to 3.0, you pay two credits for four images. So it's basically double price. So the best and most cost effective option, in my opinion, is 2.0, especially if you choose the turbo render speed. Because if you choose default, it's going to be two credits. If you choose quality, it's going to be three credits. So choose turbo 2.0 and you will be able to generate 4,000 images with this $20 plan. Now, when it comes to the actual image generation, you just enter the prompt here. Let's enter that prompt. It's very simple, a viral Pinterest pin. This Pinterest pin presents a simple yet appetizing piece of a chocolate cake. Text overlay, the best chocolate cake ever in bold, white, groovy font. This Pinterest pin is indulgent and highly clickable. So let's click generate and we are going to see these four variations here in the middle. So let's wait a few more seconds and you will see all of these Pinterest pins. And you know, we generated four variations so we can choose the second photo and we can post it one week from today. We can take the third photo and post it in two weeks then we can choose the fourth photo and we can post it in three weeks time so basically we have four different pieces of content okay now let me show you a little bit different design of a pin that also can get a lot of clicks this time we are going to focus on the travel niche and it's going to be 20 things to do in paris if you want to use that prompt just pause the video and just copy it it's very simple, it's nothing complicated. I just wanna show you the design that works for me. And you know, it doesn't have to be travel niche, it can be for the home decor niche or for fashion or for food, it doesn't really matter. I just wanna tell you that this design with text in the middle and very clear text, very easy to read text in the middle and multiple images seems to work very well on all of my accounts. And you know, I just wanna say that the quality of these pins is very high. I would personally post something like that on my accounts without any issues. And to be honest, most of the time it's very good. Sometimes there is something wrong with the image, like here, the text is a little bit weird. But again, most of the time 
depending on the prompt, the quality and the output is actually very good. Okay, now let me show you a little bit different example, although it's very similar. It's going to be in the pets niche. It's going to be 10 facts about Siamese cats and it's going to be two photos at once with text probably in the middle. So let's see what we can get. I also didn't tell you anything about aspect ratio yet, so let me cover that as well. When it comes to aspect ratios, most of the time I use 1 to 2, 9 to 16, or 2 to 3. I also tried using 10 to 16, but I don't see the difference between 10 to 16 and 9 to 16, so I don't think it matters that much. But I know that a lot of Pinterest marketers tell you that 2 to 3 is the best and it has to be like 1000 pixels and 1500 pixels. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. You can download the image from Ideogram, which has these dimensions, and you can post it to Pinterest and it can get a lot of clicks anyway. So you don't have to upscale anything these aspect ratios definitely work. As you can see, 10 facts about Siamese cats. It all looks very good. Quality is awesome. It doesn't look fake at all. It actually looks like a real photo. So yeah, that's why I love Ideogram 2.0. If you want to create pins without text, that's possible too. So let's choose a different prompt. It's gonna be for the home decor niche and it's gonna be a cozy Scandinavian bedroom with minimalistic wall art beige colors so let's see what we can get and although these two pins look a little bit weird so it's not going to work well but as you can see that image looks very good i mean it's understandable because it's ai sometimes things can go wrong and as an example here it looks a bit weird does it look unnatural well maybe i don't like that cable but I think that this image is very good anyway. So for your own site and for your own niche, you have to experiment what you like the most and what kind of prompts give you the best results. Because as you know, each one of us has a different style and a different aesthetic. So for some of you, maybe that kind of quality is not good enough, but for others, it can be perfectly fine. Let me show you the last example before I show you how you can actually create these pins without having to pay $20. But first, let's see the example from the fashion niche, what to wear with Doc Martens shoes. So let's see what we can get now. So as you can see, that's a very high quality pin. This is something that I would post on my account as well, what to wear with Doc Martens. And these shoes look exactly like the real Doc Martens shoes. So honestly, the quality is simply great. Okay, but what if you want to test out Ideogram, if you want to just see if it's going to be a good fit for you? And what if you don't want to pay this $20 for the plus plan? Well, there is one solution. It's going to cost you like 50 cents or $1, but you can actually do it. There is a site called Replicate, replicate.com. And basically on that site, you can get access to all of the AI image models, all of the language models, ChatGPT, Claude, DeepSeek, everything. You can get access to it without paying for any subscriptions, but you pay for the output. So if you want to generate one image with Ideogram 3.0, for example, it's gonna cost you three cents. So if you are not sure if it's gonna be a good fit for you, maybe it's a better idea to use Replicate just to test it out, spend like 50 cents or $1, and then eventually decide if you want to keep on using Replicate and Ideogram, or if you want to actually buy the Ideogram subscription. This is Replicate.com. When you are logged in, you can go to Explore and Image Models, and you are going to see all of the image models that are available here. Seadream 4, Ideogram V3 Turbo, Google Imagine, Quen Image, lots of different AI image models. But as an example, let's go to Ideogram V3 Turbo. It may seem complicated at first, but it's actually very simple to use. You just enter the prompt here, select the aspect ratio. So let's select 9 to 16 and you select the resolution. And that's pretty much it. You just hit run and it's going to generate the image. So as an example, I'm generating the best chocolate cake ever. As you can see, that's the pin that we just generated with Ideogram V3 Turbo. And that image costs three cents. So we paid three cents 
for that image. So to use Ideogram for Replicate, you don't have to buy the subscription on Ideogram. You just pay for the output here. So if you just want to generate like 20 images, you will just pay 60 cents and that's it. You don't have to pay for the entire plan. So in my opinion, this option is awesome for those who don't really know if they want to use Ideogram or not. Maybe you want to use some other models as well and you can just test them out here on Replicate. Anyway, this is how I create pins and it seems to work for me because as you can see, that account yesterday had 2.09k outbound clicks and just a few weeks ago it was literally 1.27k on Friday October the 10th so nine days ago it was actually 1.2k but yesterday it was 2.1k so it's pretty insane of course this fluctuation of traffic is pretty normal sometimes the traffic goes down sometimes it goes up but I just want to say that it's totally possible to get traffic with AI pins it doesn't even matter if you get these AI labels or not because you can still get clicks even with these labels and I'm using AI pins on all of my accounts and all of my accounts are growing and getting consistent traffic so trust me it's definitely possible and there is nothing wrong with using ai on pinterest that's pretty much it for today guys thanks for watching hopefully this quick video was helpful if it was consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to like this video of course if you want to get access to more resources and more tips workflows prompts templates and custom tools join the pin lions community the link is in the description thanks for watching and see you next time